Hello and welcome to Thaik. I am Ahmed Adnan and in this video, a different video. Usually I used to publish about Power BI, Power Platform kind of thing. But this time I want to tell you one thing. Because recently after the pandemic, um, even though in the pandemic most of the peoples are working from home and they used to work in an official laptop. And nowadays, as the Azure virtual desktop and remote desktop things are in a boom, so most of the companies are adapting this one. So they have offices given as the laptop and we need to log in inside to that to access the client remote desktop. And in 180 days or even in 90 days, we get an email messages. You need to change the password within seven days. You need to change the password reminder and everything. So how can we change the password in the remote desktop or Azure Windows virtual desktop? So I thought to make a video on this because this can be useful for many, many peoples, those who are working in the IT. So now let's begin. Before going further, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Usually, whenever we want to change a password, what we do, we just type control alt delete. When it comes to Windows virtual desktop or remote desktop, when we press control alt delete, it actually brings up the menu from our laptop, from our PC. It's not actually going inside to that client remote desktop. So in order to do that, the easiest way is you need to open that virtual desktop and then press control alt and n key yes it is n key so pressing control alt n key will actually trigger control alt delete in the remote desktop and then from there you can change the password whatever you want that's the simple trick so if you found this video useful then please hit the like button and if you have any more ways so that we can also change that password Please share your comments in the comment section below. And if you want to have this kind of videos in future also, please let me know in the comment section below so that it can be an interactive one and I can make more people aware of these things and simple tricks using Windows itself. Until then, please share this video with others and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Bye. Take care. See you in the next video.